Hi guys, so today we'll be talking about how to prepare your birds for the breeding season. This is my way of doing it. I only start preparing my birds uh, at the beginning of February or mid-February because that's how I prefer. I don't like to breed over the winter and the birds I have this year are all young birds so I don't want to rush them. The first thing you do, which is something that I've already done, is put each and every male in its own cage. I prefer to use the cages that we'll be using for the breeding. Once every male is in its cage, just leave them two perches so they'll have quite a long way to fly so they don't get fat. Make sure they have plenty of seed, grape and fresh water daily. The females, I'm keeping them together in flight cages. I have them separated by personal criteria to say so, because I want to give them as much space as they can. Here I have only three consort buff green hens. Here is my white and cinnamon hen. And here I have my Corona hens, which would have been together, but Corona hens are quite uh, feisty and they kept picking on each other, so I had to separate them. They've been like this the whole winter. And right now, what I'm going to do to prepare them for the breeding season is catch every male and every female and uh, cut their nails if that if they need to and trim their vents uh, on gloucesters you should trim vents because they have quite a lot of feather and the fertilization process can be inhibited by those feathers so when you're trimming the bird you can see it even has some this is stuck to the feathers. You have to blow on them, sorry for the noise. And a little goes a long way. One thing you have to be careful is not to trim the guide feathers that you see here on the vent. These are the guide feathers. They came straight from the vent and they help the, the male seed be delivered and felt as a female. So what you do is you blow and easily start cutting. Be careful on their legs. They have quite a lot of feathers and it's hard to see. Just trim little by little. So once you're done, don't go overboard. Maybe I did a bit. Just make sure the guide feathers are visible. Once you're done with that, you should trim the nails and you should look at them. They have a vein going through and you should be careful not to cut that one, otherwise they will bleed. This is uh, it looks like a special nail trimmer and it is but it's for dogs it's very good because it cuts the nail from both sides and it doesn't break it it cuts it cleanly they are special tools designed especially for canaries but they are actually the same thing and sometimes they are overpriced just because they are for canaries so don't fall for that okay so what you do is you look at the vein and where it goes and you cut a little bit under. It's better to leave the nail a bit longer than to cut it too short. And what you do is you put the bird's nail inside the cutter and 
with frame. So once you're done trimming the nails, trimming the band, next thing you do is you check the ring number on the bird, write it down in your uh, notebook or in your building record and make sure you write down the cage number so you know which females go goes with this male. Here you can see this male is in the cage 7, his ring number is 15980. I wrote CC there because he's a cinnamon carrier and I should remember that. And the female that I chose for him is 15959. So next step is to catch the female, cut her nails, trim her vent and put her in, in his cage with the grill divider in. She is our female, she is our 59. We will trim her the same, cut her nails and put her beside him so they will get to know each other. She's done and she's in and they are ready to get to know each other. You can see them starting to like each other and get to know each other. They will be like this for a couple of weeks until I see that everyone is in top breeding condition and the hen starts building the nest which I won't be putting in at the moment that will be on the second part about breeding so now that everyone is in and the bird room is a mess from all the feathers I will change the water because it got dirty from all the feathers flying around and what I like to do on the first day is give them water with B coal in it or bio coal how it's called from Versailles it's a liver tonic to make sure they are clean of everything and after that I will start giving them in the water daily fertivit up until they lay the first egg so this is it guys I just change their water and close the light and let them go to sleep it's been a tough day for them they've been handled and they don't really like that I'll see you guys in the next part about breeding canaries or more specifically breeding gloucesters. Thanks for watching. Bye.